of your achievements so far in office. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, uh, let me uh, use this opportunity to appreciate your visits. And this afternoon, I'm meeting some of the finest you know, among the chief press secretaries. Uh, some of the local governments which Europe have come from their places that we're also trying to copy the very good job that has been carried out in those local governments. I mean, so I really want to thank all of you. Uh, to go back to the question you asked, uh, I think uh, we lost, there will be no achievement without first setting out, you know, and planning what you want to achieve. And, you know, achievements can be measured. Sometimes a lot of us will measure achievement from the physical outputs that you know has been recorded. But whereas in some instances a lot of work, a lot of strategic management processes may have been put in into. So what we have done in the Bejudeki is that we started the foundation laying from the first day in office. And as we speak today, we are still you know, working on some of those, some of those things. But we're guided by about four key development, you know, areas. One of it is um, infrastructural development. One is um, environmental sustainability. One is social development and security. And the other one has to do with the local economic development. Um, I listened to one of you, the CPS of Abuike, when he was talking about some of the things we have we have introduced that they are being innovative and I cannot agree less with you. Uh, in Nigeria, the major challenge we are having is that there is a, a debt of entrepreneurial spirits, which is what a country like Nigeria needs to succeed. And there's a classical example. A Dango Day today is being celebrated globally. Just yesterday, the refinery in was, I mean, commenced the production of a PMS. So if you take a dangote, what is different from a dangote and the rest of us? The only difference is that this dangote is hardworking, is disciplined, he has industry, he's an entrepreneur. And the same Nigeria where everybody claims is negative, Nigeria is difficult to do business, dangote is succeeding. It's succeeding beyond reasonable doubt. So, if every Nigeria can invite the entrepreneurial spirit, I believe we will reduce poverty. Now, those who are entrepreneurs, the least the government can do is to act, assist them in having access to credits, access to capital. You know, in every economy, when there is debt of capital, the economy will struggle. The US economy, the China economy, and most developed economies of the world what they have leveraged on majorly has to do with capital credit. Okay, so at the local government level here, we have so many small businesses. But of course, we must separate those who want to do real business and make money for themselves from those who have the entitlement, you know, mentality. And that was the, the, the rationale behind separating grants and loans. So the local government decided that, look, in times of economic crisis, First, we need to intervene through cash grants. At the same time, we need to help those who are in business, those who might want to multiply you know, that resources to generate additional value. And that's why we said, those who want to take loans will give you 100,000 naira. If you pay back in six months, you can come back and apply for 250,000, 300,000, even up to 500,000. But by then, we will have seen that you have met our risk acceptance you know, criteria. And that's why we went through Lagos State Employment Trust Fund. And I'll tell you today, all of those who have been qualified for our loans, we did credit checks on all of them. That credit check was done by LSCT, not even the local government. Those who failed the credit check were automatically disqualified from taking the loan. And beyond the credit check, there's what they call know your customers. These guys, they went to their, to, to their, to their shops, to their trading shops, to the market, to confirm that in actual sense, they are doing trade. So when we give them that 100,000, they are investing it in that, in that trade. So with that, we are promoting entrepreneurship. We are reducing poverty. 
we're increasing prosperity. That is one of our you know, signature um, initiatives. Okay, if you look at our intervention in the Kekejaja or the garbage collection tricycle, which is in line with our environmental <coughs> sustainability agenda, I discovered that yes, Loma has so many um, you know um, products that have been put together to move waste across Lagos State. Yet, when you move around our neighborhoods, our communities, you find waste everywhere. This lucky. Epe Expressway. The current, our governor has done excellently well by reconstructing this road. Unfortunately, the road is not up to a year old. People are dumping waste and they are almost turning the highway into a dump site. So we try to study what could be the problem. One of the things we discovered was number one, the collection and transportation of waste became a major, major issue because we in our environment here, we lack uh, a lot of access roads. And the Loma <coughs> compactors or the PSP compactors, they find it difficult, extremely difficult, to go to our inner streets to pick waste. And so people became discouraged. They don't want to pay again. So what do we need to do? We try to research. In most countries of the world where they use compactors, they have very good road infrastructure. That's number one. Number two is that most of their waste are inorganic waste because a lot of their items are packaged. But in Nigeria today, 60% of our waste is organic waste, where you see you know, um, biodegradable items like tomatoes, pepper, you know, perishable items, and they have very high moisture content. These particular type of waste are not even good for compactors. So therefore, what is the way forward? So we settled for you know, equipment <coughs> of lower sizes, that can pick waste easily and they can transport the waste you know, for safe disposal. So we came up with the idea of damage collection tricycle. And we spoke to Loma. We had several meetings with Loma. The MD of Loma was here. So we were on the same page. And we got Loma to allow us to use the Okorison landfill. And in the past one month, since we launched the damage collection tricycle, I can tell you that you know, the people are happy. The, uh, the tricycle, they are picking waste and they are immediately taking them to the, to the landfill. And through our garbage collection tricycle, we've created some direct jobs. Immediately, we created 20 direct jobs. A rider and assistant. The rider has 50,000 naira salary in a month. The assistant has 30,000 naira. And you know what? They generate the revenues to pay their salaries. We are not loading that on our location. And so when we upscale or expand the scope of our collection tricycle, we are, we are projecting that we'll have created about 100 to 200 jobs. These are areas that you know, nobody has you know, um, looked at. It's an untapped potential. And now the local government is opening up that, that sector. It's a new ground that we have broken, and we are solving problems. We are removing the waste in our homes. We have created jobs. We are helping the Lagos state government, you know, towards the agenda of cleaner, cleaner Lagos. That's another thing. If you come to education, so I am talking about innovation in governance. So I'm not talking about look. I want to go to a school, build six classroom blocks, and all of that. I mean, those are normal things. But I am talking of, I, you know, <coughs> seeing problems and addressing those problems. In education, in Ejileki, we have a peculiar challenge. We are not like those of you from the mainland or the highland who have been exposed well enough, you know, I mean, even pre-colonial days. Here, we are called the New Lagos because we're just opening up. So a lot of our young people, is either they are uneducated or the quality of education that they are exposed to is not up to the quality that you can, you know, um, get from neighboring local governments and all of that. So, we look around our environment, we saw a university, a modern university, and we approached Pan Atlantic University. How can you help us? How can you help us improve the quality of you know education that these kids get these kids get from here? Number one, they are in our public secondary school and public primary school. So they are getting some form of foundation in learning. But can we expose them further? And the school was like, oh, we have the I mean, we have, it's part of our community, um, um, yeah, CSR, you know, stuff that 
you know, if the local government can work with us, why not? That was how we started the weekend tutorials. We started with science, uh, science students, you know, so we're able to bring SS2 and SS3 students every Saturday. We take them to the Panamanic University, they get free lectures, the local government pays for the logistics, we take them, we got their parents to, to sign a consent form. We pick them, we take them to the school, we return them home, we provide meals for them, and we saw a surge in performance in JAM and in GCE, to the point that we had to expand beyond science. Today we have commercial and arts, and we have close to 200 pupils who go to Pan Atlantic University every Saturday to acquire knowledge in a world-class you know, education and learning environment. What this has done to their psychology is that for those of them who probably uh, didn't think about going for you know, higher education, now they can see the beauty of what a university is all about. Some of them have settled for less in the past. What do I mean by that? They want to go to Tarashula Ari College of Education. They want to go to Mokopen. They are not bad schools. But again, when we are talking of uh, education today, you should aim <coughs> for the best. Okay, so there are schools, University of Lagos, Lagos State University, OAU, and all of that. We want our children, our students, to compete among the best. I don't want them to settle for less. And that's why we, we told them, look, go and see how a university environment operates. Go and be exposed to the best learning techniques. They use the lab. The school actually allowed them to use all the facilities of the school. So we are so grateful to the school, to the management, to the vice chancellor for what they have done because we have run this program successfully for three years and it has not stopped. You know, so we're doing all of that. When you come to infrastructure, I'll use government uh, institution as an example. Um, we are called the New Lagos. So um, they said, uh, you know, uh, how do I put it now? First impression is very important. And you know, so how does our local government look like? When people visit us as a government, how do they take us? What sort of um, uh, image are we creating? So that informed our decision to also try and upscale the face of a Vegileki local government by investing in this modern executive building. And by the time this project is complete, everything around us here will have been completely transformed. You know, we're doing the executive building, we're doing the legislative building, we're also doing the secretariat road, you know, so, and we hope that very soon we're going to have some form of development at the back, trying to copy what Agui has done successfully because that is a model for the rest of Nigeria. Okay, so we like to copy the best because that's the only way you can be the best. So every local government must try and look at what each other person has done successfully. The community market you mentioned, I want to tell you today that I sent a team from here to Lagos Island, this local government, to meet the chairman, Honorable Alabi Folawiyo, to understudy how they did their community market before we did it here. So there's nothing wrong in trying to see what others have done well and copy the same because we are all in the same space. And at the end of the day, if every local government is developing, if we are innovating, what you will see is that Lagos as a whole will be developing and will be innovating. So um, I don't want to talk too much, but I think um, these are some of the things that you know, we are doing here. And, and, and those are the things I can say that it gives us joy that we are addressing the challenges you know, of the people. When we had the, the rainfall recently, and the whole part of the Vegileki, there were flood everywhere. The local government had to massively, you know, to flood by mm. ensuring that we mobilize heavy equipment to channel all our canals. And today, you know, the majority of our canals have been cleared.
and then we are, we are safer than we were in some months ago. Thank you very much. I think um, lastly, I wanted to one or two words for the people of uh, the Jileki community. Well, for the good citizens of the Jileki local government, um, you know, every time when I have the opportunity to speak, first I want to thank you for your support. Without your support, the modest achievement we recorded would not have been possible. You know, that support comes from our councillors, from ESCO members, from the management and staff of this local government. Uh, from the leadership of our party, the APC, from our traditional institutions, from all our RBCs, the 11 of them, from all our ballots, from our CDAs, all of them have truly, truly be our pillar you know, of support. And we don't take this support for granted. Um, you know, we want to continue to enjoy that support and to assure you that your government is here to serve you. We are not going to relent on our horse. Okay, so some of the things we have done. They are just a tip of the iceberg. As we identify more needs, we are going to continue to provide solution and address those needs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. You made it five minutes. That was one way to Because we are still going back to our village country. So at this junction, sir, I want to commend you. You have spoken well. Next time, I thank the local government to we'll bring up the S back. So let's are saying now. Although it's going on live on some platform, but I've been scrutinized because you don't have the power to join the council chairman. All council chairmen in Lagos State are performing. Mm -hmm. The dimension is just the innovations, the new ideas, and the media projection. If you invest in the media, people will know much about you. So when it comes to performance, various councils, at least we have visited close to 16 local governments, and I can say for part. As I also come here to you, we are still going to tour your projects. We are not leaving now, so we are still going, it's going to take us to. Well, it's really meant to. I don't know. Really yeah. Is it also part of this local yeah. But when I broke my leg then in just one, yeah. I was taking there to fix yeah. my leg. Yeah, only my primary care center. I didn't even know the place. Yeah. The man took us to only yeah. I attended yeah. government called the K2. Okay. Uh -huh. So that one. I think that was not a three. So at this junction, also you have your supervisor of education. Yeah. He's going to be decorated okay. at our fourth coming retreat as okay. the best council. Yeah. Supervisor. Wow. So, wow. no, no, you get the best kind of supervisor, supervisor across Lagos State. Beyond education. Yes, education. The number one supervisor. Uh -huh. It's not limited to, so for that, we okay. want you to sign the our conversation with the chairman. So, the collective has been asked to Christopher. Yes, sir. No, let me first of all congratulate the chairman for that. Because we want to know. No, the poet, yes. the supervisor, the yes. So, the chairman, sir. Yes, sir. I just your Okay. And then, the So far, well, I am very happy that I am doing this with you. You know, so it reminds me of the first day I met you. It was during the campaign. I had to look for you. I said, there's this guy I want to meet with him. And we met him at the So it was like play. You know, you listened to me and you said, I believe you, you can do it. And today we are doing it together. Congratulations. Yes, sir. This is just for you as an ambassador first. Your quick is still coming. So let's do this now for Mr. Chairman, sir. Yeah, this, first. this first, I think. Also, as I'm, this is just an ambassador of the yeah, retreat. Yeah, yeah. So we should come so, get our Chairman, sir, we are making yes, you an ambassador as well for the retreat. For the retreat. Yes. Congratulations, thank you very much. Please, you put your hands together, Mr. Chairman. Also, at this junction, I want to advise the meeting induction into our hall of fame. Thank you so much. So, on behalf of Company 7 CPS, sir, we hope you. Yeah, I just want to. So, we are pointing you as an inductee of Company 7 Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And, sir, on this note, even if it is termed Van Bianla, let me put it so far it was a good thing. Sir, you are a very lucky chairman, sir. Not because you are not doing well, you are doing well. You are performing, you are the landlord, I think, to Dangote Refinery. You are the landlord to Pan African University. And the Pan African University thing, sir, we want you to use your good office, sir. You know, to inculcate with the chief persecutors, you know, maybe for us to have uh, a professional 
short course. Okay. At the yeah, I know they have and one of their yeah, and one and of their courses. I know they have one uh, media entrepreneur. And okay. On that one, yes. No, I Pan Atlantic investors, yeah. Mm. Uh, Pan African, Pan African. Yeah, that's the yeah, LDS. Yeah. LDS, yeah. Lagos Business School. Lagos Business School. So, anyone, sir, anyone you feel like you are the landlord of the two, anyway. So, I know they have uh, media entrepreneurship yeah. as one of their courses. Mm. I will speak to the Pan Atlantic University. So, whatever they can do for the CPS, I'll let you know. Okay. Sir. Mm. And you will be the first chairman in Lagos to do such. Another first. You just got another first. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you. See, best. You have a good one. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wow. Wow. 